What's good? What's good? We are back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to Sly Stallone says he'll never watch Creed 3. I actually watched the trailer. Um, seems interesting. Seems interesting. And I was supposed to do a react to the trailer, but I never did. Um, before we get into that, though... Let's give you a word from one of our sponsors. Are you a musician looking for music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pool promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. You heard the beautiful lady. If you need online marketing promotions, please check us out, promopalace.biz, one-stop shop. Also, we got the new little apparel there as well. Go to promopalace.biz and click on merchandise. Check out the merch for all you dog lovers and cat lovers. We got the new litter apparel on there. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to see why Sly Stallone um, says he won't watch Creed 3. Like, do you feel like I will, can never watch Creed 3 kind of thing? Never. Not only will Rocky not be in Creed's corner in Creed 3, he won't even be in the he audience. never. So Sly Stallone... Is not happy that he will not be back as Balboa for the third installment of the Michael B. Jordan led spin off franchise. In April 2021, when he's speaking to IGN, Michael was very respectful in acknowledging the Rocky that is in Creed. You know, Sly, you know, uh, let it be known, you know, that, that he wasn't coming back for, for this one. But I, but I think, you know, in his essence and experience is always going to be a little bit of Rocky within Adonis. This whole situation is very confusing because back in November 2018, Sly said to Vanity Fair that Creed 2 would be his last Rocky movie saying all things must pass and told Michael he'd be carrying the mantle going forward. But now this week, Sly said to The Hollywood Reporter that this is a regretful situation, saying, quote, because I know what could have been. It was taken in a direction that is quite different than what I would have taken it. It's a different philosophy, Ern Winkler's and Michael B. Jordan's. I wish them well, but I'm much more of a sentimentalist. I like my heroes getting beat up, but I just don't want them going into that dark space. I just feel people have enough darkness. Even that statement confuses people because both Rocky Balboa and Adonis Creed were pushed to some pretty dark places in Creed 1 and Creed 2. Sly then says that the Creed 3 script, which was co-written by Ryan Coogler's brother Keen Coogler, and Ryan has credit for the story, just didn't include Rocky. What it was is Michael's telling a story highly personal, but there's no room for me. In other words, it's about his character's family, about his dilemma, about his journey that has nothing to do with boxing. He wrote a very airtight script. I kept looking for, where do I insert myself here? I'd basically be walking around with a bucket, ready to spit, ready to spit. It would have been like an appendix that was unnecessary. It was just there. To say Rocky's a movie, spit. but he's not really. You know, it's always respect and always, uh, you know, a, a shit ton of love uh, for, for what he's built. But we really want to uh, push and navigate uh, Adonis forward in the family that he created. But then Sly also seemed to suggest on Sirius XM today that he chose to bow out because of the fight over the rights to Rocky with producer Erwin Winkler. Michael B. Jordan is a nice guy. It, it, the studio is wonderful. But it's just the, it's been such a real rough emotional ride, that's all. Now with all that pushed aside, Michael is optimistic that audiences are still going to be cheering for Creed even without Rocky in his corner. Hopefully you guys will love what I'm thinking, what we're cooking up. Um, I think it's going to be special. And fans can be optimistic that Rocky and Creed together again is still a possibility. If Michael B. Jordan, we come up with a story, I'll do Creed 4 with him mm -hmm. as long as the other fellow is not involved. So I don't really know what the actual truth here is, but if I had to guess, <laughs> I'm guessing that back in 2018, when the fight over the rights to Rocky really heated up, Sly was digging in his heels and publicly saying he was out. It's almost like then, Irwin called Sly's bluff and said to Michael B. Jordan, okay, let's create a script that doesn't include Rocky, and then they did. Sly is not an executive producer on the Creed movies, so once they had a script without him, 
We really couldn't say anything. <laughs> now, that being said, I believe the character has been in eight movies now, and he did end on a great moment in Creed 2, so that could be it. We'll see. I'm very hopeful that Creed 3 is going to be great, with Michael directing, the Coogler is back involved in the script, Jonathan Majors joining, so there's a lot to be excited about this Rocky-free installment of the franchise. But yeah, what do you mean? Um, I had a conversation with my friend about this movie yesterday. And he suggested that it should only been one Creed. Um, that it really wasn't built for a movie series. And um, it's really not much without Rocky in it. Like it wouldn't, if they didn't have Rocky in it, it probably wouldn't have worked. Um, you know, I think about like when people say in hip hop, like, there's no Nas without Rakim or, you know, the cast that came before him. I mean, there's no Creed without Rocky. It is no Creed without Rocky. Um, I've seen the new trailer. It, it looks somewhat interesting, but what more could they really do? Like, I don't know that I want to see four or five parts of Creed. Like, of the, you know, it's we've seen this. We, we got Rocky, you know what I'm saying? And, um... I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, the first Creed, I, 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 I did like the idea. I thought it was, thought it was genius. It was, it was pretty genius. Whoever thought up, let's go with Apollo Creed's son having his own little movie kind of thing, you know. But I don't know how far you take it. It's not like Fast and Furious. It ain't. You can't think of new ways to. Um, like do car stunts and tri yeah, you can't just think of new stunts and new fight scenes and it's boxing. It's can't go but so far. I don't know that there'll be a creed for. If there is, it'll probably be a while. Um and we'll have to see how good this does. Like these movies haven't been doing too well in Hollywood lately, especially if they bring in some kind of woke agenda. They bring in a woke agenda and then it could seriously flop like all these other movies do. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like Creed without Rocky, that's it's like there is no Creed without Rocky. So just the fact they're trying to, like, push Rocky out of it to try to build Creed into something of its own, it's never going to be what Rocky was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just it won't. You know, Rocky's the originator. It, you know, when I look at Creed compared to Rocky, it's like Commando compared to Rambo. I mean, Arnold tried with Commando, you know, compete with Rambo, but it it didn't work. You know, and and the first to be honest with you, the first I thought the second one. The storyline of the second one was better than the first. The first one was a little, I don't know. It was a little, I don't want to say corny if it just, or did it seem like low budget to me? And then the second one, they brought in um, the Russians. And they probably should, they probably could have ended it right there, you know, two parts. But we'll see how it does. Um, I'm pretty like pretty sure that Sylvester Stallone has a valid reason to be upset. Um, you know, he did create the Rocky series. I, Rocky series have been going on my whole lifetime. Like I said, there's no Creed without Rocky. I would argue that without the Rocky movie series being what it was, and them coming up with Creed, Michael B. Jordan probably doesn't become as big as a star as he is right now. Creed is the movie that took him because he just did the um he did that Fantastic Four before that. And all the Fantastic Fours really are not all that. They're they're not that good. They really could have been better. I think the Silver Surfer Fantastic Four was like the best. 
So, um, yeah, if there's no Rocky, there's no Creed. If there's no Creed, Michael B. Jordan isn't the star he is. He probably isn't getting the role in Black Panther 1 either, you know, because, I mean, he did Creed and then Black Panther. That was two big movies at the time and, and black movies at the time too. Creed is like the, the, the black version of Rocky. And then you got Black Panther, the black superhero. And, you know, like my friend was saying about the um, new Black Panther, the, 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 um, the uh, Aztec guy that they got in there, you know, you don't see a lot of Hispanic superheroes being represented in Hollywood either. You know, you really don't. So, once again, I'll thank you for tuning in, Paul Pick a Podcast, and I'm out.